Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to talk about a very important topic and that's stipend for PhD students and what are the countries where you can get the highest stipends to do your PhD. So before we begin, let's look at the stipends in three countries from where most of my viewers come from. So let's start with the US. So according to Google, the PhD stipend in US ranges from $15,000 to $30,000 per year. And this can be more in some cases, but this is a ballpark number in the UK. Minimum stipend is about $20,000 per year. And it can be more in some cases. As far as India is concerned here, the typical stipend is 30,000 rupees per month. So that's about four to five thousand dollars per year though there are some fellowships which can pay up to ten thousand dollars per year but these are very rare so essentially you can see from these numbers that the phd students are some of the least paid students as far as the researchers are concerned so let's look at countries which essentially pay people much more than what i mentioned here so again the top of the list here is Norway and Norway gives a typical yearly stipend of $54,935. So all these numbers I'm quoting in US dollars so we can compare these across the countries and the typical living cost including rent is $32,520. So essentially you do have a substantial surplus as far as Norway is concerned in terms of your living expenses. Now, what are the advantages of studying in Norway? Norway has a very high quality of life. There is no tuition in Norwegian higher ed institutions. And beside this, you can essentially study a large number of subjects in which Norway has a lot of expertise. For example, marine research, energy and climate, medicine and health, food related and so on. And if you are doing a PhD in a Norwegian university then you are part of the employee system in the university and you get a lot of benefits as far as Norway is concerned. So essentially Norway is very good for PhDs. Again I will point out that the stipend per year is almost 55,000 US dollars which is excellent. Now let's look at the number two country here and that is Denmark and Denmark has a stipend of 54,636 US dollars per year and expenditure of $33,960 per year, which includes rent. Now, Denmark has certain peculiarities. If you are a EU citizen, you get free, free tuition. However, if you are an international student, you do have to pay tuition, and this may range from 6,000 to 15,000 euros per year. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Norway doesn't have this particular problem. There are several universities in Denmark now, some of them are University of Copenhagen, TU, Denmark, Aarhus University and so on. Denmark is very strong in climate sciences, logistics and any kind of STEM disciplines. Both Norway and Denmark would be very good for science, technology, engineering, math disciplines. So there is a lot of expertise here as far as renewable energy is concerned. In Norway, you will also have a lot of expertise in oil and gas. Now the third country in this list is Switzerland and Switzerland has a stipend of $53,434 per year and the cost is $37,656. So cost is slightly higher than Denmark and Norway as you would expect. Switzerland is expensive but they do pay you good stipend. Now 50% of the PhD students in Switzerland are essentially international or foreign students. Switzerland has several bodies such as the Swiss National Foundation as well as many of the universities such as the federal labs do give stipends to a lot of PhD students so you will find many foreign PhD students in Switzerland. Also Switzerland essentially conducts its own business in several languages and English is widely used though you can also get by with French and German if you are better off in those languages. Now the fourth country in my list is Finland and this has a PhD stipend of 35,388 
dollars and expenditure of twenty six thousand one hundred forty eight dollars now switzerland does not have any tuition as far as i can make out but finland does has tuition for foreigners so this may be five thousand to fifteen thousand euro per year so you need to verify some of this information by checking out the web pages and the fellowships which are there in these countries so again finland has several schools university of helsinki or helsinki typically has more expenditure but if you go out into the far off locations the expenditure is going to come down so again if we look at the aspects of tuition and so on we can see that the best countries here would be norway and switzerland so again if you are a phd student you who is uh, planning to do a phd or rather i should say if you are a master student who is planning to do a phd then keep these four countries in mind norway denmark switzerland and finland and in these countries you can get very high stipend and i will extrapolate and say that even if you are planning to do a postdoc it is very likely that these countries will give you some of the highest stipend as far as postdoctoral situations are concerned because these are typically countries with not a lot of population and they have a lot of money they have surplus funds so essentially they try to put some of these funds into research and therefore they are able to pay their PhD students much more salary. So again this video is hopefully useful to you and stay tuned to my channel for more such videos and probably these salaries will serve as a benchmark to the different governments around the world who try to get away by paying their PhD students very low salaries but students should also show some initiative and try to locate to places where the salaries for PhD students are more. So I hope this video is good for you and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.